Welcome back to another review video, everybody. Today we're going to be reviewing uh, the Convictions, The War That Followed Me Home. This is one of the first songs that I heard from them along with Stigmata, which I will be doing a review of that as well. Um, but this this is just an amazing song. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. This, this is probably one of my favorite songs uh, to listen to, honestly. So, um, yeah. Um, I've never seen the music video. Um, I've seen a bunch of people do reactions of this song, which is awesome to see people doing reactions to this because it's it's just it's fun to watch people listen to like heavy music like this i've never seen the music video so let's get into it y'all three two one go dang it And also, another reason why I like this song too is because just the beginning is just in your face, like, yeah, what you gonna do about it? I'm in your face, bruh. But they're also talking about a very heavy subject. Not a lot of bands do that nowadays. Which, that's another reason why I love Conviction, is because they talk about heavy stuff. And also, they're a Christian rock band, like Christian metalcore band. Like, you know how hard it is to find bands like this that are actually good? They're freaking awesome. I'm going to pull up the lyrics just because all y'all metalheads out there don't yell at me. I don't understand what they're saying because it's screaming. <laughs> so you're. Okay, my mind wakes in the. Awakes in the wake of hysteria. It's happened again. I see your face in the place where I rest my head. That's where we just stopped. So, obviously this is talking about PTSD. The word that followed me home. Duh. So, yeah. Let's get back into it, y'all. So far, amazing, as usual. Yeah, I was almost sleep with my eyes wide open. I blame myself. I shame myself. Like he's sitting there. It's like what people call like survivor's guilt. Like I should have. It should have been me that that happened to. It should have. It shouldn't have happened the way it happened. I shouldn't be here. That's kind of what it sounds like he's saying. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, I see your face in the place where it rests my head. So like when he sleeps, he sees your face when you're sleeping. Like he like when you close your eyes, go to sleep, you see that face that you, that you can't get out of your head. That's what this is saying. So the, the delivery of the song is amazing as well. freaking that that like boom right there oh my gosh yeah and, and like i like the way that they're they're singing and then like a little bit through that chorus like you hear him doing like the i guess the screamo part of it it sounds so good together it's like blends so well and like kind of like how i was saying it also it's like death from the front line sort of my front doorstep uh then he says you'll never know the guilt i felt for sur from surviving like i said earlier survivor's guilt um or know the love and loss that's always on repeat. Huh. Looking casually, let the fight behind back of receipt. Yeah, if I left the fight behind back of receipt, then maybe I'm denied a full recovery. So yeah, they're talking about the you know PTSD of the subject, which I'm, which obviously I said before, but they are they do a very good job with 
kind of doing the delivery of this. And the music video is awesome as well. Um, so, yeah. Um, dude, like, I'm like kind of getting my toes in the water, so to speak, of the whole metal music. Like, not metal. like Because, like, I listen to, like, Pantera, Slipknot, uh, Metallica, Iron Maiden. Um, Slayer sometimes like I'm but I'm kind of dipping my toes in the quote-unquote death metal uh, metalcore genre because I don't really listen to all that much like I only just started listening listen to this but dude it is it, it's freaking like it pumps you up and it's amazing especially these little I think that's what they call breakdowns um, it, dude it's it, it's freaking awesome I got freaking goosebumps. Dude, every time I listen to this song, dude, I get goosebumps at that freaking breakdown or bass drop, whatever you want to call it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's break down the lyrics again. I can't escape the flashbacks. We attacked, they shot back, the skies turned black. I watched my friend take his last breath and set aside my humanity. How could I feel when I've been trained for apathy? Put my life on the line at what cost? My first kill can give the death of me. Dude. So right now they're talking about like how he's like, you know, yeah, you can't escape those flashbacks. Like some people are okay with it. Some people like it's it's like a a pop of a balloon can put them back in that place like 10, 20 years ago. Remember everything. Smell the smells that they smelt on that day. Hear the sounds. See stuff in the sky that's not really there. Um, yeah, we attacked. They shot back. So it's like, yeah, we, we started fighting them. They shot back and the sky turned black. So I would assume like that's the adrenaline rush they, that people go through in that situation. That's like you don't remember everything. You just remember bits and pieces. So that's what I'm getting from that. Um, he watched his friend pass away from fighting right next to him. Uh, he set aside his immunity. Like, them people overseas, they do stuff that nobody should ever have to do. And they remember it in full detail. Like, they remember, like I said, they remember the smells. They remember seeing what, the, what happened. It's this, and also, fun fact, um, if you see somebody who was a veteran, do not ask them, oh, hey, did you do X, Y, and Z? Don't ever do that because this song explains it right here. You know, you can't escape the flashbacks. Oh, did you do that? Oh, yeah, but then they start remembering what they did and it's like, oh, now my whole day is ruined because I remember that thing I wanted to forget 20 years ago. Um, comment down below if I'm saying any of this wrong. Like, veterans, please comment down, uh, comment down below if I'm if y'all are comfortable saying or kind of, if y'all could explain what I'm trying to say. Please think. I think my brain is on vacation mode still. And here we go. And go.
Yeah, man, they, they they just they delivered that so well, especially and kind of like um and like that little last little the little imagery thing where you saw the guy like look like he was struggling to fight people off him, but in reality he was just sitting there on the floor crying with like what well, I assume is his spouse like holding him. Um, I guess that kind of like kind of is like a simile of like his inner demons, like what he's fighting through on a daily basis, and it's like. What, what, you know, that's what people go through. Like, like that's, that's like an everyday thing for some people. Um, which I think that what they did with that is very, very good. Um, and kind of just talk about these lyrics right quick. For people who listen to music like this, who doesn't understand it, for y'all out there, and me, because I don't understand this either. I'm joking, I do. Uh, I understand it when I read the lyrics. I just like listening to it because it makes me want to throw stuff. <laughs> that's not an insult conviction so that's I just I like angry sounding music for um, working out or running or anyways um, I'm trying to look like the I'm trying to look like the, I'm trying to look big like the guy like the main singer or one of the, the guy that does all the screaming and stuff anyways I don't know what his name what's his name Y'all comment down below. What's his name? Or if convictions, hey, y'all see this? What's that? What's that guy? What's y'all's names? How you doing, y'all? Let's see here. Whoa, I take that back. Songwriters: Michael Crawford, uh, Daniel Benjamin, Joshua Allen, and Zachary Cohen. One of those is the main whatever. I don't know. Anyways, back to it. Um, Death of me, forget everything you've known to come to believe, strip down and torn apart, replace the heart, you are a machine, somewhere I know there's a soul trap in between. So that's kind of referencing like, and I'm not, don't, like I'm not, I'm not military, I'm not nothing like that. I'm not, I've never been in the military, um, but what I've, from, I've seen from movies and what I've heard from people who are relatives of mine who are in the military, who were in the military, well I wouldn't say relative, well I do, I have had rel. My brain is checked out. I apologize. From people who I know who either have been in the military and or movies I've seen or people who I've heard talking about it. It's like when you're in that boot camp or whatever, it's like, oh yeah, also, veterans of, uh, y'all veterans out there, comment down below if I'm accurate about what I'm saying. Um, but it's like when you're in the boot camp, they kind of strip you of everything you know. Like right here it says, Forget everything you've known and come to believe. Like, forget everything you've known and done. You're going to learn our way, which is the military's way. You'll learn the military's way, and that way is going to be how you live your life. Or how you fight if, to fight to live and or live your life in the future. Um, this is just what I'm kind of... And replace the heart, you are a machine. Yay! Like, they're a machine. Like, literally, they're, they're supposed to do drills to make it, like, second nature. Like, they don't even think about it anymore. Um, somewhere, I know there's a soul trap in between. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's like, at, at the end of the day, you're still a person. You're just, I wouldn't say brainwashed is the word. You're just, you know, you're you're fighting to, you know, learning and fighting to stay alive, to, to help, to protect the lives of your family, to protect the lives of your friends, your squad, your platoon, whatever. Um, and like I said, I don't, this is just my opinion. I don't know nothing about this. So like I said, five seconds before, veterans comment down below if I'm accurate about any of this. Um, but dude, like that freaking chorus though is amazing. Like, like, like I said, that, that, that little the singing line right above it. And then that guy underneath doing a little, Grr! it's freaking awesome. I, oh my God, this is a 20 minute video. Um, yeah. That's crazy, man. It's a great video. I apologize for making this a 16 minute, 17 minute video. This is not my intention. Um, but dude, like, this is one of, probably one of my favorite bands right now. Because they, like I said, they, they talk about, like, serious stuff. Um, yeah, man. I hope you guys enjoy this reaction to me babbling on about stuff. I'm trying to dissect this. I probably go on... When I do that little album review thing, I'll go in and detail about everything all off the albums and all the albums I've done, blah, blah, blah. You've heard this before. Um, but yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, review video. Uh, not, not a reaction. I apologize. Um, so yeah, definitely hope that Convictions comes out with more music or new music because this, this is, I cannot wait to go down the rabbit hole of this type of music. It's amazing. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch y'all on the next one. Sayonara.